Good evening. I'm Dave Moreno with MCA Public Relations here at the St. Regis Hotel Monday night of Semicon West Week. Here with me is Paul Lindner, Executive Technology Director of EV Group. Paul was a panelist on MCA's Bright Spots 450 millimeter uh, panel, which just concluded. And Paul will be a participant on our online forum over the next couple of weeks. Paul, thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you for having us. So, Paul, I have a few questions before I let you go back to uh, mingling with the editors and analysts at our reception. Okay. Uh, the first question I have is, do you see certain process areas uh, mm -hmm. focusing on 450 millimeter development more quickly than others? Yeah, definitely. There's different degrees of complexity when scaling to 450 millimeters. There is probably the biggest challenge out there is, is the lithography, the node in which 450 millimeter will be introduced we heard it could be like 16 or 10 nanometers there are certainly major technical hurdles to be overcome on the litho side but there is also uh, possibilities to introduce new technologies it doesn't have to be EUV necessarily for example we offer nano imprint lithography which enables today even the unit process development because we can today provide pattern 450 millimeter wafers uh, for subsequent process development. We see opportunity, uh, especially for small companies, to be quicker, to enable the prototyping capability and the uh, process development that is required. Now, I would think that with uh, 450 millimeter uh, one of the, you know, a particular challenge is when you're dealing with these larger wafer substrates, mm -hmm. the wafers are more prone to uh, damage, uh, you know, warpage, mm -hmm. bowing, uh, cracking. Is EV Group doing anything to address this particular issue? Well, in the first place, that's a challenge for the wafer manufacturers. Fortunately, the wafers also got a, a little bit thicker. So the wafers we have seen and that we, we use on our equipment, like the SY uh, bonding equipment that we are launching during this show, uh, have reasonable quality, good flatness, and work well with the handling systems that we have uh, developed. Also, we expect that new system architectures are that are currently being introduced on 300 millimeter will be required at 450 millimeter. One of them is temporary bonding, which enables to handle very, very thin, say sub 50 micrometer thin wafers uh, by the use of a rigid carrier, which again could be a 450 millimeter wafer with standard thickness. Now I have one last question, and that is that I understand that EV Group is a member of the EEMI 450 initiative. Is that right? Yes. Uh, what area, what expertise, uh, or what areas of expertise does EV Group bring to the initiative? Well, within that uh, European Union funded project, we develop uh, certain process modules and the automation required for 450 millimeters. An example would be a cleaning module. Cleaning is, is extremely important for wafer bonding because any particle trapped in a bond interface cannot be removed at a later stage and the equipment automation, the robotics, and the bonding module. Those are the most, or the current development efforts which are funded under that umbrella to some extent. All right. Well, Paul, thank you very much uh, for joining us this evening on our uh, live panel and for participating on our uh, online 450-millimeter uh, forum over the next two weeks. Okay. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. We are too. Thank you.